Hey guys, it's Santi Radio. So tonight's radio topic is this. How to find out if the Japanese man is a good person or not. So tonight's topic is about boyfriend and girlfriend problem. Yes, your favorite, I think. So I got one comment from my subscriber. Look at this, really long message. <laughs> and she has a situation and she wanna know what I think about her situation. So uh, tonight I wanna be honest. No BS again in this channel, no BS. I want to be honest to her. Yep, I want to deliver my message, okay? Anyway, so this channel is all about Japan, so if you like it, please subscribe, okay? Thank you. Okay, all right, so as usual, let me share this comment, but again, it's quite long, so please be ready for it, okay? Her name is Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. And she said, Hi, Mr. Santi. Could you please kindly help me out? Sure. I met a Japanese guy who is seven years younger than me. Okay. He is 25 years old. So Jennifer is 32. All right. We met from internet. We talked a few, we talked a few times through phone. Okay. I asked him if he dating or having sex with any ladies. Okay. He honestly told me that he doesn't have a girlfriend. He doesn't want a girlfriend right now. He just wanna, he just having sex with a Korean woman as a sex partner for three months. <laughs> okay. That Korean lady agrees with that not being his girlfriend. Okay. Just his sex partner. Really? They do sex once a week. They text three times a week. Kind of details. I told him that I only have sex with my boyfriend. All right. I don't share my man with the other ladies and I don't like sex. You don't like sex? Really? Anyway, I'm a very serious lady. I can tell now, yeah. <laughs> For everything. I told him that if he's not serious with me, and not consider talk, uh, taking me as a girlfriend, as his girlfriend, then we don't need to waste time meeting up or seeing each other for second times. He told me that he was not sure if he wants me to be his girlfriend. Because he, you just met! <laughs> anyway, because he, he never want a girlfriend, okay? All our, all our sex partners, okay? He said he needs to meet me in person. He couldn't decide anything on phone. Uh, okay, <laughs> obviously. Then I, want, then I went to meet him in the Valentine's Day. Okay, it just happened, right? I guess. I think I like him at the first sight. So you like his appearance, okay? When I saw his, his picture in the internet, on the internet, okay? I am also a romantic lady. Yeah. I bro I bought him flower in the Valentine's Day. And I also told him that don't be touched. I would buy I would boat I would boat flower for any guy for spending Valentine's Valentine's with me because I am romantic. Not because I wanna make him like me. Okay? That is truth. And uh, we talked a lot. I emphasized to him, okay, that we can be friend, okay? Because I can't have sex with a guy who is not my boyfriend. <laughs> it's still coming, don't worry. And I don't want to spend too much time meeting with, meeting with guys. He asked me a few times, who is not my boyfriend? Eh? He asked me a few times, who is not my boyfriend? Okay. And I don't want to spend too much time meeting with guys. Why? He asked me a few times if I want to meet him second times. Okay. I didn't answer. When we, but when we about to say goodbye, I was a little bit not want to leave him because I decided only saw him this time. 
okay i okay it doesn't really make sense but anyway i really like him eh? then i asked him if i can hold his hands when I wait, when when we hold hands, I started massage his palms, just like playing his hands, like this. <laughs> Suddenly, he said he wanna date me. He want me to become his girlfriend. He changed his mind. Apparently, God. <laughs> oh God. Okay, I am a little bit shocked. Cause. On the phone, he was like very sure that he didn't want to have a girlfriend. Only wanna, only want was a only only want was his sex partner. Okay, then he asked me what I want him to do if he is my boyfriend. Okay, I told him that I want him to be loyal to me and honesty. He asked. He he said okay. I also said that if he is my boyfriend, he can't have sex with that Korean lady anymore, or any other ladies. He also said, "Okay." <laughs> I am not sure he can do as his promise promises, cause this this live they live nearby. Then, when he left, he asked me again if we if we meet. After one or two weeks, I answered yes. I'm not sure he is serious. I just feel many uncertainty and insecurity. I'm sorry to ask you trouble, ask your trouble, and sending you this long texting. Don't worry, and I would be really appreciate you sp spending your valuable time and kindly help me helping me solving my problem. Thank you so much, and sorry for to hear the news. I hope everything in Japan be safe. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, that was already seven minutes. Anyway, I hope you have fun. You know what? In the end, I can tell she's a nice person, you know? Not many people said this kind of comments. I'm sorry to hear that news. Hope everything is fine in Japan. Or like, um, I'm so sorry, putting, putting you in trouble, spending you, making you, reading this long message, whatever, you know? This comment, you know? Telling me that he's she's a nice person, so uh, good job, Jennifer. Anyway, all right. <laughs> so guys, what do you think? <laughs> oh God, there are many things I want to say. Okay, Jennifer, you know, in this channel, I don't want to make bullshit. Yeah, I want to be like, I don't want to be like, hey, you are so cute. You know, you gotta be so nice and lovely. I'm sure you gonna do well. You know, he must love you. Oh fuck that, seriously, man. I, I want to be honest. You know, Jennifer. Oh. <laughs> Seems like you feel that he has a problem, but to be honest, <laughs> don't get offended. I think you have tons of problem, man. Seriously, <laughs> who is troublemaker in this case? You. <laughs> Apparently, you. That's my thinking. Don't get offended. Listen, my logic, okay? The so first of all, he's so clear. I don't know how you met him. However, not eharmony.com. Did you spend the money? Registration? You know. Monthly payment subscriptions like $60, $100 to meet one guy. No, right? You just download on a free app and just find him, right? That's it. So, like a Tinder, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, you met him online. It's very so casual, right? So, in most of the case, people meet online, they just need the you know short term relationship. One is 10. I don't know. It's seriously, it's facts. If they are damn serious, they register for like a blind date matching.com, whatever, I don't know. They became more serious because, you know, that's tendency, right? I think in the world. So anyway, the beginning part is already making me sick. If you want to have serious person, just seriously, registration. There are tons of like, a, uh, you know, blind date matching site uh, agency in Japan. Even though you're a foreigner, you can register too. You can find Japanese guy there. You can marry. And who is fucking serious? Because they pay like a thousand dollar to meet you, to meet you, and they pay like a sixty dollar to hundred dollar to have a date with you. Do you understand this? Just have a date. So if you just register those those places, yeah, it costy. Maybe you might have to pay up to fifteen hundred dollars to to find your Mister Right. But it's not that expensive, right? To find Mister Right, 
in two or three months, you know? So if you are serious about this, don't find your serious boyfriend <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but anyway, so you said he's 25. And here's the things. I asked him if he, if he is dating or having sex with any ladies. Um, if, if I, okay, fine. If I met any lady, doesn't matter nationality, race, doesn't matter. If I met any ladies who ask me, do you see any other ladies or having sex with other ladies on the first date or on the first phone call, I would definitely hung up. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this girl? Oh God. Why you be, it's totally rude, man. It's rude. I mean, at least be nice to person, <laughs> you know. It's like this, I am a clean person, I am Miss Pure, and you could be a dirty, dirty dog, you know, so I have to assess you, evaluate you, like I'm a teacher, like you're a student. So first questions, do you have sex with other girls? <laughs> like this, you know, I was like, I'll be like this, who the fuck are you? Get the fuck out. And I definitely hung up, so you won't meet me on the, on the app, by the way, but, and he's nice enough. He said, yes, he's honestly told you that he's having sex with the other girl. It doesn't matter Korean, Japanese, it doesn't matter. But come on, man, this guy's so honest. And he said it up front, I don't need any girlfriend. That's clear message. What he want is having sex. Come on, 25 years old, it's like a monkey. Seriously. Okay, that's kind of bad joke. But it's like an animal, you know what I mean? They want to have sex. So, seriously, I mean, he was honest. And then you're the one kind of, yeah, treating him like, yeah, seriously, it's, it, you know what I mean? You might think that you are like this and you're looking down, you're choosing guy. No, in the world, you have to be equal, you know, gender equality is very important. Okay, now I'm emphasizing this in the channel, right? <laughs> Men, women, equal rights, right? So don't be like an asshole, ask him like a, just imagine that if any guy show up on, in front of you and say, so do you have other girl? Do you have sex with other guys? I don't know. Do you have sex with other, other, do you meet other guys? Do you have sex with other guys? Or sex partners? If the guy started asking you, how do you feel? Maybe in your culture it's okay. But trust me, in Japanese culture, it's very odd. I mean, yeah. I mean, what the fuck odd, yeah. So uh, if you register and you sign up for the dating agency as I recommended, do not ask whether he has <laughs> sex partner or not, all right? <laughs> Seriously, you find out later anyway. Anyway, even though he has, so what the fuck? It doesn't matter. Seriously, even though he has, it doesn't matter because he didn't meet you yet. You cannot control his past. You cannot control his current life. You know, when you become decided to be serious, you know, you can control his life, I guess, or at least you can influence, but you can, yeah, anyway. Sorry, don't get mad, okay? And it's 30 minutes already, but it's, it's keep going. Tonight, it's been long nights. All right, so, um, and the guy said, yes, I do have sex once a week. Three times a week, they have sex. This guy is so honest, man, seriously. Seriously, this is the honest guy. If he's an evil asshole, trust me, he wouldn't say anything. Anything. Okay, so um, I met a guy He's from Africa. I don't say which country, but he's from Africa. When I was in college. And he, he, oh my God, he had tons of girls, seriously. During college life, he's like a mentor of me, seriously. He always have a girlfriend. I mean, no girls. And he was a wild man. But you know what? He seems such a nice guy. So mellow, relaxed. You wouldn't even think that he's such a guy. I asked him once, yo, uh, you look like a, you know, like a calm man, but how can you get that like, many girls like this? She's like this, Kent, Kent. The guy who looks like a player is not a really player. The real player, the real one, the real, uh, real player who have sex with many girls. You don't even think that he is that kind of person. You know, those guys seems Mr. Right. Such a sophisticated gentleman, nice person, always nice, know the courtesy, know the manners, that kind of guy. But when you take a look inside his personality, 
it's crazy you know like uh, addicted for sex it could have it could be so he said just remember that you know don't judge people by appearance <laughs> so i was like okay <laughs> so you're the one having said that one okay but that makes sense so about this case he's not that bad you know i think because at least he said honest stuff to you right if he's a really bad one he hide and you would even think that he would lie he would even think he would say my hobby is go to the library to read a book yeah especially bibles he might say that seriously you know so just be careful you know all right next one and then uh da -da -da -da. i don't want to share my men with other ladies apparently but i am very serious for a <laughs> serious lady for everything i can see that yeah so um I'm not uh, judging you, but uh, I feel I I assuming that uh, from your watch from your comments, maybe you don't have many experience with the guys, so uh, that's why you're kind of very, uh, you know, um, you don't take you, yeah you you don't take a casual dating. I think you always want to make sure that uh, everything is right or not. Maybe your mom taught you, father taught you, I don't know, or your religion taught you, I don't know, but you're very serious about taking one step. That's why you are doing kind of rude action towards other people. That's why you could not have boyfriend. <laughs> That's my assumption. Because apparently asking the guy you just met, do you have a sex partner? That's kind of bad question though. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck question? So for my advice, for, for my first advice, just relax first of all. Relax. You are still 32 years old. Come on, life is long, you know? Seriously. Why don't you just uh, give a shot? Even though it's uncertainty, unclear, it doesn't matter. Everything is unclear in nowadays. Seriously. Who would know that? Last year, world, the world would be like this. Over 200, 300,000 people died because of coronavirus. Who would know that? Seriously. So, don't just give a shot, you know, in uncertainty. But anyway, let's go back to this. I'm a very serious lady for everything. I can see that. I told him that if he's not serious with me, and not considering taking me as a girlfriend, then we don't need to waste time meeting up or seeing each other for second times. I have a question, Jennifer. So you're still talking on the phone first time and you're asking this. You are crazy, man. Seriously, you are crazy lady. So you met a guy on the internet, whatever, and you're talking phone, right? So, and he said, I want to meet you. And he said, if you don't take me as a girlfriend, I don't want to waste my time. Are you serious? Are you serious? So you asking guys to decide take you as a girlfriend? It's 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 crazy. Seriously, how can you be so sure? Yes, you really like his appearance at the face and picture, but come on, when you met him, you might be like, oh my god, oh my god, I didn't expect this order. It could happen, right? Many things happen. But you're asking him be so sure about you. What about you? Were you so sure? Here's the things. There's no in gender equality here. You said you have to be sure. When you meet me, you have to be sure about taking me as a girlfriend. You know, be serious. Otherwise, I don't want to meet. I don't waste my time. If you have Mira, just say that same thing to yourself. Seriously. Were you sure? Were you that sure about him? You just saw his picture. You just heard his voice. But you are ready to take him as a boyfriend? Seriously? What if he had a bad manner at the table manner? What if, what if he was a really bad guy towards the strangers? What if he spit off and on the road? What if he... I don't know. I don't know. He was not really nice to you. Just imagine. But were you ready for that? Seriously. I just feel that I'm here. I can choose, but you have to be ready for it. That kind of mentality I felt. You know, no offense. I know you want to take care of yourself, first of all. And I know you are very serious and you want to be secure, yes. But what you're doing right now is, I'm on the safe side, but you're the one who has to take risk. I'm the one choosing you. No, 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 no. You cannot choose me. I'm choosing you, all right? So uh, are you so sure? I don't want to waste my time, all right? Are you serious? If I got that on the phone, I would say, doot, doot. you would never talk to me on the phone because that's so selfish. 
I feel. No offense, sorry, Jennifer, sorry. You know, you ask, you're the one asking me my honest opinion, right? So let's go back. <laughs> Don't get mad, come on, man. It's just radio. Because he never, okay, he said, he told me that he's not sure if he wants me, <laughs> if he wants to be his, he, your girlfriend. Obviously. Because he never want a girlfriend. He's so nice. He's such a, he's so, oh my God. He's honest, man. So all, all, all he wants is sex partners. That's it. That's what he wants. And it's totally different what you want. So you should not meet him. Do not waste his time. <laughs> Seriously, Jennifer. All right. He said he needs to meet me in person. He couldn't decide anything on the phone. Obviously. Anyway, then I went to meet him. Aha. Uh -huh. On Valentine's Day. Why did you meet? Why did you meet? You know what he wants. Right? And you are not, uh, he, you know what he wants, have sex. And you know that he doesn't want to have you as a girlfriend for now. He's not sure yet. But you said, I don't want to meet you, you know, unless you are not ready for a relationship. Why you went to meet him? You just changed your policy, you know. I really, th I really feel that you should stick with a principle. Seriously, if you have principle, this kind of, you know, serious lady kind of principle, it's fine. You know, it's your life. Do whatever you want. But don't change so easily, especially in this case, because it's obviously you guys don't match. <laughs> That's my answer for this. Because he, what he wanted is sex. 25 years old guy. Everywhere like this, seriously. And then what you want is this really serious boyfriend, whatever. So it doesn't really match. So do not, you know, vent. Do not, you know, change your principle. Seriously, stick with it. So there's a mistake. You made a mistake, you know. You met him. But anyway, you could say that I changed my mind. I met him. I gave him a chance. That's fine. Fine, okay. Let's proceed. On Valentine's Day. Why you chose a Valentine's Day? Why? You could choose next weekend. <laughs> Why you rush? Seriously. Seriously, there are the 365 days in a year. Why you chose Valentine's Day in Japan? It sounds... Did you watch my video? Okay, yeah, oh, it's membership, anyway. Seriously, Valentine's Day? Mm, nah. Okay, I don't know, you're not Japanese, right? In Japan, Valentine's Day is kind of special, yeah? So don't do that. It's too late. Anyway, I think I like him at the first sight when I saw his picture. Yes, I can tell. I'm on the romantic lady. Yeah, romantic, sure. I bought him flower in, in the Valentine's Day. And I also told him that don't be touched. I would, I would bought flower for any guy for sp spending a Valentine's with me because I'm romantic. Uh, okay, romantic lady. Um, you know, I think the first thing you want to do is you have to learn to feel others you know not everyone feel as you do not everyone see the world as you do people every individual have a different perspective different personality if a lady buy flower for me on Valentine's Day it's clear message at least you are showing something to me you know, positive sign. You could have just have coffee with him. 30 minutes. I always say in this video channels, first date, do not spend more than 30 minutes. Just 30 minutes is enough, way enough to find out if he's a good guy or a good girl. Seriously. Do not buy expensive stuff from the beginning. Just buy a cup of coffee. Five bucks. That's it. That's a maximum you can spend to the first person, the person you met the first time. But you met on Valentine's Day, you bought a flower, and you asked him, do not be touched. I mean, yes, because you're romantic, yes. Seems like you want to do as I want to, as you want to do. But don't, make me, don't, mis, don't, mi, don't misunderstand. You're telling him, right? So you know that he could, make me, he could misunderstand. Why did you do that? It doesn't make sense for me. If I knew that, you know, if I knew that lady or whoever lady dating with 
my misunderstand by my action, I wouldn't do it anyway. First, first, first of all, I wouldn't do it. Why you take a risk? Because you said I'm romantic, as I want to do, I do, fine, but what you're doing in just creating problem, trouble, or potential problem between you and him. So, oh God, anyway, oh, let, let's proceed. All right, and then, uh, for da, 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 da. I emphasize to him that I can be friends. You can be friend. Okay, about the friend part, I have no idea. I don't have a female friend, so uh, I don't need a friend. But why emphasize? If you just met a guy, if you don't like him, don't be friend. Just move on to next guy. Why not? Why 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 why, why wouldn't be with him? Anyway, because I can't have sex with a guy who is not my boyfriend. Here's the things. Seriously, uh, not only you, but many girls keep saying this. I cannot have sex with the boy, uh, with the guys. If not, he's not my boyfriend. My boyfriend. My boyfriend. My boyfriend. What is boyfriend then? <laughs> Seriously, what is boyfriend? The definition of boyfriend, the process of boyfriend. So what? Okay, Jennifer, I have a question. So if he said, "I am your boyfriend on the fir on the phone the first time," yeah, do you have sex on the first meet fir first date? Seriously? So what? If you have a title, the boyfriend, you just uh, you just have sex with him after you met him one hour? Seriously? So uh, I really understand. I don't understand that. You want to have that. It seems like you know, many Japanese girls all same thing. They want to have a reason. They want to be. They don't want to be seen as slut. They just want to have a reason that I'm doing this. You know, having sex or uh, dating with the guys. I don't know. They want to have some reasons. Uh, that's why they want to have title labels like boyfriend, relationship. You know, to do those stuff. I mean, that's crazy. Okay, that's my opinion. Person personally, I think it's crazy. You should assess, you know, you should follow your heart. Uh, that's my advice. Don't care about the boyfriend. Don't care about the girlfriend, title, label. Just don't give a fuck about that. Just meet the guy and talk to him. And when you feel that I can trust him, when you feel that it's the right moment, do it. Seriously. Kiss, sex, it doesn't matter. When you feel it's the right moment, go for it. That's a better way. That's more more human human being, I think. Seriously, don't care about your friends. You might your friend, your father might say that you know. Oh, that's too soon. You met him just for three months. You should wait for another three years to have sex. You might say that you know. Seriously. Or well, some people said you wait for have sex. Wait, wait. You guys been together already one month. You haven't kissed him yet. You know, every different every person have a different mindset, right? Seriously. So don't worry about that label. You know, unless unless. You have a clear principle that my boyfriend ter uh, uh, terminology definition is this: who I met three times and then been on a date as date, and then uh, we spent at least half a year just as a friend, and then we've done uh, three dates and has a kiss first time, and then we make sure that the kiss was good, and then we became couple, confess each other, and then became boyfriend girlfriend. If you have that kind of clear definition. As a boyfriend, boy, girlfriend, whatever. Okay, then you can follow that. You know whether he has the label or not. You know between you and him. But it seems like you really care about other people's eye. Though. Are you Japanese? Mm. Anyway, so don't worry about the boyfriend. Just, anyway, and I don't want to spend too much time meeting with the guys. And trust me, it's same. It's just go backfire to you. Seriously, <laughs> seriously, he doesn't want to meet you if you don't have sex with him soon. Because what he wants is having sex. That's what he said, clearly. You know, don't play with him. He's not for you. Even though you like his appearance, whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You guys want different things. He want to have one stand to, you know, a sex partner. That's it. But you want to have different things, right? So don't waste his time. Be respect to his time too. As you do to your time. <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah, okay. He asked me a few times if I want to meet him a second time. I didn't answer. We're not about to say goodbye. Here he comes. When we when we about to say goodbye, I was a little bit not want to leave him because I decided only saw him this time. 
I really like him, then I ask him if I can hold his hand. What the hell are you doing? I kind of understand though. Okay, I don't see him anymore, so uh, that's it. But I kind of miss him, so uh, let's play with the hands. Really? <laughs> really? So you like him, so that's fine. Then follow your heart. You like him, right? Why you have to separate? Seriously? Seriously, why you have to separate? You know? But you decided, okay, this, 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 that's it. I cannot, you know, miss him again because he's a good guy. But I'm, I, I don't want to leave him because he's cute. So let's play with his hands. Right? That's what you did. Oh, God. Oh, God. So for the guy who want to have sex with you right now, you know, his hand is played by you. <laughs> I don't know where did you play, <laughs> but <laughs> how did you play? But now, you, yeah, you massage him. Oh, God. And suddenly he said he want to date with me. He wants to be a, become his girlfriend. He changed his mind. Of course, guy would say that. Come on, of course. Of course, he thinks that it take, it's as a message. You guys say, bye-bye, because But you said, no, wait, 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 wait. Let's play with your hand, yeah? Massage, yeah? How do you feel? Good, eh? How do you feel? <laughs> if you start doing this, he thinks, oh God, oh God, yes, I wanna be a boyfriend, yes? <laughs> Let's go to hotel on us. Come on, man. She'll, he'll change. Oh, God. What the hell are you doing, Jennifer? Seriously, control your desire. You know, I know you have a secret desire. You want to have sex. Seems like you're the one who have sex with him. Seriously. Seriously. If he started massage, whatever. Hey, wait, Jennifer. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I know, I know. It could be last time, right? But can I play with your hand? Yeah, massage. <laughs> if he's not doing this, fine. He's a fucking horny guy. But what you're doing is, yeah, seriously, <laughs> that's what you're doing. So it seems like you're the one really want him, though. Yeah, you're the one really want him. I mean, sex. Yeah. Anyway, then he asked me if you wanna be a date with him, whatever. Of course, he would say it. You know, he say whatever it takes to have sex. Because you seduced him. He, okay. And he also said, okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Da, 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 da. I also said that if he is my boyfriend, he can't have sex with other Korean ladies anymore or other ladies. He said, okay. Uh, seriously. Oh my God. Again, maybe it's, all, it's me. If lady asking me that kind of things, I it's a big turn off. Seriously. I would say, I feel like this. Who the fuck are you? You cannot trust me? Get the fuck out! Why are you telling me that kind of shit? It's obviously, if I became serious with you, of course I cut off the relationship. How, how dare you can you ask me that kind of shit questions? Seriously. People say in the Western world, there is no silly questions, but this is silly questions, I think. Because it's apparently that you showing me that you cannot trust me. Then, it's not, you're not ready for this relationship. If you are really ready for a relationship, you wouldn't even ask, you wouldn't imagine to say that kind of question to your boyfriend. Because you are ready for a relationship. If you have that kind of question in your mind, you are very far from the ready, you know, the points to you starting a relationship. So don't do it. You know, don't, don't, first of all, don't ask these kind of questions. And when you feel that I want to ask, I want to tell this question, tell this sentence, notice. You are not ready for it at all. Anyway, sorry. Don't get mad, okay? 33 minutes. Oh, God. Anyway, I, I'm going to keep going, okay? Then we feel. Then when, we, when he left, he asked me again if we meet one or two weeks after two weeks, of course. And I answered, yes, sure. I am not sure he is serious. Again, what is serious? What is serious? <laughs> What is serious? Are you serious, Jennifer? Can you die for him? <laughs> Seriously, you keep saying serious, but by using, I'm not, I'm not sure if he's serious or not. You are telling you to yourself, please notice, you, whatever you are telling to him, it go backfire. You're telling to yourself unconsciously. Yes, that's my analysis right now. What you're doing right now is you are telling to yourself, you're not sure. You're not serious yet. 
So you want to ask, you want to, you want him be serious first to make you be serious. Do you understand this? Before you become serious, before you can be comfortable to say, I'm serious, I'm ready for this. You want him be serious because you are not. How's my analysis? I think it's correct. So, yeah, I'm not sure if, if he's serious or not. It means Jennifer is not sure if Jennifer is serious or not. So don't do it, anything. Don't do anything. I just feel uh, many uncertainty and insecurity. Then don't do anything. <laughs> Seriously, look, you know it. I'm so sorry to you. Okay, and last part, you're very nice, by the way. Anyway, so again, see, you're a very nice girl, nice person. Seriously, you're a very nice person. And then maybe you don't have many experiences to you know date with guys, or whatever. I can tell. But seriously, uh, first of all, relax. Okay, relax and then uh, relax and respect others. That's the important point. Relax and respect others. And please think that. How would others feel? How would others feel if I would say this? If you cannot do this, you cannot have a good guy. You might have guys full of shit, lie to you, just want to have sex with you and throw away and dump you. You might find those guys, but seriously. Please think ahead. How would, would, would he feel if I said this kind of things, right? Because I, I, as far as I can see this, you know, you are full of rudeness. I felt no offense. Yeah. And then the worst part is you are not being you are not being rude consciously. <laughs> you, unconsciously, you are being like this, right? So that's really worst case. No offense. So please, it's, a, it's a, no. But today is the first day. You know, you just you just noticed. You're just, uh, you just, know, I just pointed out. So if you're you know, ready enough to take my advice, just know that you're kind of rude to others because you don't feel others' feeling. You know, you always protect yourself and you always secure your safety first. You always protect from anything. That's why you're kind of attacking by words, you know. I understand, of course, we should do this. We should do this, yes. Especially if you're a lady, protect yourself is important, but you can do that in many other ways. For example, when you hear, you know what, if he won't have sex uh, partners, don't meet him. <laughs> That's one thing. And also, do not find your serious, you know, the ideal boyfriend on Tinder or matching app. Don't do it, seriously. Seems like you are extremely serious, according to your, you know, terminology. Why don't you register? Register on a dating app, dating agency. It costs maybe, uh, uh, $500 just for, for first time and every month it costs maybe uh, 60 to $70 every month a subscription fee and whenever you meet guy you whenever you have a date with him with date with one guy it costs 60 to $70 but he also has to pay the so both parties pay that much money to meet one person you understand this it's so serious they so therefore they don't play around because it's really costly that's why most of people find a, you know, life partner like that. And you are 32. You're not that young, no offense, you know, compared to a 25 years old guy, you know, seven years elder. So uh, please, uh, you know, no, decide that, what you want. Please know what you want, first of all. If you want to have you know, one night stand or like a summertime memory, this guy's the best guy, seriously. This is the best guy. Trust me, he wouldn't be a stalker after you dump him <laughs> because he is a player. And he admitted he's such a nice guy, I, I think, because he is so honest. You know, the worst guy is who looks like Mr. Right, Mr. Perfect, but doing shit things behind you. That's the worst guy. So again, know what you want. Sorry, it's 40 minutes. It's the longest video, Jennifer. Yeah, <laughs> enjoyed. Anyway. Take a look comments. Some people might watch this 40 minutes videos and they might leave comments. So um, anyway, if you like it and subscribe, good luck Jennifer. See you tomorrow, bye.